Good morning and warm welcome to you all. I am Vaibhav, your host for today. Our topic for today is mindfulness. The best way to take care of the future is to take care of the present moment. It shall be taken by Dr. Manisha Agarwal. She shall be covering paying more attention to the present moment. Some people call it awareness, mindfulness. Mindfulness can help us enjoy life more and understand ourselves better. You can take steps to develop it in your own life, followed by question and answer sessions. Let's quickly go through our agenda. Virtual inauguration by Dr. Sundar Kataria, invoking the blessing of deity, chanting of Gayatri Mantra, introduction of speaker, Presentation by Dr. Manisha Agarwal, question and answer session, and last closing session. About Sadgun Sir, Sadgun Sam conceived and led by Dr. Sundar Kataria, driven with the mission to elevate the quality, safety, and environmental awareness levels of industry. Sadgun Sam is a series of educative, informative events aiming to illuminate professional on possible solutions to current issues of industry and economy. A brief introduction of Dr. Kataria, designation and organization, chairman and managing director, International Certification Services Private Limited. His academic qualification, doctorate in business management, mechanical engineer. His experience, Rajasthan Atomic Power Project, India's first nuclear power plant, RAPP at Rawat Bata, Kota, built by Indian engineers, worked as nuclear scientist for 11 years and successfully completed and commissioned the plant. Engineers India Limited, first batch of engineers to develop Bombay High offshore oil and gas fields, mega offshore complex platform, trunk and submarine pipeline, underwater inspection, and indesization oil and gas equipment, etc. Dead Norsec Versatile, world's largest classification society, worked for 70 years at various capacity for the certification of fixed offshore installation, submarine pipelines, onshore projects, and personal qualification, underwater inspection. ICS, he is founder of India's first certification conformance assessment body established in the year 1999, provider of total quality solution. Certification of management system, ISO, inspection, testing, and training qualification of personnel. His achievements and awards are received lifetime achievement award for the contribution for the corrosion technologies from NAS International by NIGIS under NAS USA, social worker, protection of life, asset, environmental, and safety. Now I request Dr. Kataria to please virtually inaugurate the session. Please join us for the recitation of the Gayatri Mantra.
good introduction of our today's keynote speaker. Designation and organization, uh, corporate trainer, her academic qualification, doctoral degree in human resource management, followed by a certified assessor from TV Rao Learning System, TV RLS, Bangalore, visiting faculty, I am Udaipur, her area of specialization and experience. She has worked as a resource faculty in entrepreneurship development program, motivational workshops, conducted by universities, NGOs, and various institutes of national repute like Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, Institute of Companies Secretaries of India, Indian Railways, etc. Mayor High Tech Engineering, Techno NJR Engineering, PCM Sriram, Murida Group of Companies, Wires and Fabrics, and many more. Please welcome Manisha, ma'am. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Weber. Thank you for, uh, uh, I must say, adjusting a lot with my time uh, from last two days for uh, making this webinar happen. Good morning to my wonderful audience. Can I have thumbs up from everyone whosoever is there at the program? Weber? Hello. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? I want to share my screen. Would you help me to do that? Um, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, your presentation is on desktop, ma'am. Uh, yes. Uh, so, ma'am, just click on that. Uh, you see the share screen, ma'am, on the Zoom. Okay. So just click on that, ma'am. I think now it is visible. Yeah, ma'am, it is visible, ma'am. Just make it a full okay. screen. Okay, okay. Um, I just want to know who is my audience. Uh, so can you share your profession? Everyone, quickly, in the chat box. Uh, I hope our chat box is open. Yes, ma'am, chat box is open, ma'am. Okay. So can I know my, my audience? Can you quickly write down from which place you are and what you do. Ma'am, there is a response in the chat box from Achal, ma'am. Pardon? OK. Hello, Ms. Achal Chabria. Okay. Today I selected a wonderful topic for you, um, which we call it as mindfulness. So let's know what is mindfulness is all about. Mindfulness is something which I must tell you, I must ask you before starting the session. Do you know you did the brush today in the morning? How many times you took the brush to the right side or to the left side of your mouth? Or you got up in the morning, you got up in the morning, which leg you kept first on the ground? Which slip, which foot took the slipper first? Are you aware of these kind of things? Now, it might sound very silly that why I'm asking these kind of questions to you. Uh, do they really make any sense to life? Yes, they really make some sense to life because the more you are aware about what is happening in present, the better you will be in all your pursuits of life. Weber, I'm audible clearly. 
yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am you're audible okay okay thank you for endorsing that so why i'm asking these silly questions how it makes a difference ki aapne subah brush kiya hai so how many times you took it on the right side or the left side or how which slipper you took it it hardly matters anybody can think of life always runs in a very auto mode autopilot mode now what do we mean by this autopilot mode autopilot mode is something we are doing we are doing lot of things lot of chores in our life but we are not aware that they are happening so because life mind has taken it in a most automated manner so when we do brushing or these are very the mundane chores of life so when we are doing brushing when we are doing when we are getting up from the bed or when we are eating something i i am very sure that nobody remembers that how many times you chew one bite even most of the things which we are doing in life is going in auto mode you can see many times you are hello uh, there is a network issue from manisha mam side so i request all the audience to please be there for few minutes yeah sorry for the interruption so why uh, we were talking about that mindfulness practices are from buddhist time uh, they started uh, they are currently also being taught very scientifically at uh, uh, buddhism centers called vipassana centers webab i think now i am audible yes ma'am okay so uh, currently these practices are followed there is a vipassana center in pune igatpuri uh, jaipur uh, there is one a uh, center in calcutta as far well as i know so what they are teaching there what, what do we mean by this mindfulness see god has 
why it is needed to all of us god has also given us a cpu which we called as mind or brain many people use these terms in different ways so god has also given a cpu so when we talk the computer language what goes in is what comes out if you are if garbage is there too much only garbage will come out and if there is lot of good information in your mind it will come out in that way mind is a friend as well as enemy so when you want to use your mind in a most friendly and productive manner the first thing which you have to do is have to be have to make your mind decluttered from lot of thoughts which keeps on coming you day in day out your mind actually produces 60000 thoughts in 24 hours as per american psychological association now when so many thoughts keep on clogging to your mind what happens is the mind is so confused it's like a cobweb uh, in hindi we can say it's a makdi ka jala where so many thoughts are pondering over your head that you become an overthinker you become so much confused you are not able to focus just because of your thoughts what is required is that the more you remain on your present chore the more you remain what with what you are doing is going to where is your attention the more you are attentive to what you are doing it will bring lot of clarity perfection in what current chore is happening now what are the five components of mindfulness the first thing is your attention so say for example i started my conversation with doing brushing so in this brushing activity in this brushing activity if your attention is too much on if your attention is too much on that what i have to do for the whole day where i have to think of where i have to go what all meetings i have to conduct so you are not in the moment of knowing that how many times i have taken the brush to right side or left side your attention is somewhere else now this attention is most important thing with you then where is your awareness where your awareness leads to how much your acceptance to what all thoughts or what all situation that is happening there and what kind of choices you are making either you are putting your mind to attention or you are putting your mind to your thoughts now there are various choices of mindfulness now understanding this each component of mindfulness first thing is attention attention kaha hai aapka jaisa maine bataya if you are doing brushing aur aapka attention hai ki main meeting kab jaunga main aaj kit kin logon se milne wala hu main kitne baje ghar se niklunga there are so many things that are clogged in your mind that you are not present moment to moment bachpan se hame sikhaya jata hai ध्यान लगा के पढ़ो ध्यान लगा के पढ़ो पर ये ध्यान लगाया कैसे जाता है एज अ स्टूडेंट एज अ प्रोफेशनल ये ध्यान लगाया कैसे जाता है शायद आज तक किसी ने हमें ये टेक्निक नहीं बताई ध्यान लगाने की टेक्निक एक्चुअली स्टार्ट होती है हमारी जिंदगी की रोजमर्रा की चीजों के साथ हाउ मच वी कैन पे अटेंशन टू वॉट यू आर डूइंग नाउ अगेन यू ऑल कैन आस्क मी अ क्वेश्चन बिकॉज इट्स अ वेबिन आर्ट नॉट अ टू वे प्रोसेस how it makes a difference ki brush do ba, kitni baar left gaya aur kitni baar right gaya it makes a difference when it's like a mental muscle isko samajhne ke liye main aapko ek example deti hu ki aaj say for example i am manisha agarwal mujhe ek 10 kilo ki balti uthani hai wazan ki main ekdam se shayad 10 kilo ki balti nahi utha sakti lekin main agar dheere 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 कोशिश करूंगी रोज दो दो किलो की बाल्टी उठाना शुरू करूंगी तो शायद ये मेरे लिए एक दिन पॉसिबल होगा कि मैं दस किलो की बाल्टी उठा पाऊंगी 
इस दस किलो की बाल्टी उठाने की जो मेरी जर्नी होगी वो स्टार्ट होगी एक या दो किलो से नाउ दिस इज आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट माई फिजिकल मसल बट वेन इट कम्स टू मेंटल मसल मेंटल मसल इंक्रीज करने के लिए सो देर इज एन इंटेंस मीटिंग वेर वी आर डिस्कसिंग लॉर्ड ऑफ नंबर वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट लॉर्ड ऑफ कंप्लाइंसेज वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट लॉर्ड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम वी हैव टू टेक लॉर्ड ऑफ डिसीजन एंड लॉर्ड ऑफ ब्रेन वर्क हैज टू बी डन बट इफ माई अटेंशन इज नॉट विद मी इफ आई एम नॉट एबल टू फोकस माई माइंड इज वॉन्डरिंग विद लॉर्ड ऑफ थॉट लॉर्ड ऑफ एनजाइटीज फ्यूचर स्पेक्यूलेशन पास एक्सपीरियंसिस I won't be able to collect all the data which is surrounding me, and without being collecting the data, I will be taking, I will be an incompetent person, not an efficient person, to give the best into that meeting. Now, to improve this aspect, where I have to improve myself, I have to start focusing. on my daily chores the daily chores which i am doing why it is so important because the moment we start focusing putting our attention on our daily chores giving all attention to what we are doing we are actually developing our mental muscle so once that muscle is ready with the 1 kg 2 kg kind of weight maybe with the intense meeting of of lot of fact figures compliances datas we will be able to handle almost we it's like physical muscle again jahan main 10 kg wazan uthane ki baat karti hu usi tarah se main apne mind ko efficient bana rahi hu ki wo ek intense meeting mein complete attention aur complete focus ke sath main us meeting ko bhi attend kar sakti hu i would like to know whether i am able to convince with this part or not um whether i'm making some sense to you or not with this uh web can you open uh, unmute everyone and i would like to have views of all the people yes ma'am yes any questions any doubt for till what i have said to everyone no ma'am ajal ma'am can i able am i able to convince you why mindfulness is important agreed ma'am but in the routine it happens that we really lose our focus and we are doing things as a routine yes that's where i'm saying when we start practicing mindfulness from our daily chores maybe when we are into very high intense meetings and when we have to really focus on lot of things at the same time we will not lose the focus it's like build, we know how to build physical muscles i'm talking about how to build mental muscle right ma'am yes sir any questions any doubt to my all audience dilip sir sundar sir hello yes dilip ji i would like to hear from you what i'm saying does it meet mean any sense yes yes it makes great sense ma'am basically it's very good uh vipassana is one of one of the best acting where they focus on the breathing yes yes ma'am sir when we when we really talk about breathing people think it's a meditation i can't do it so so these things have been made simplified let's start from our daily chores that's why i'm starting from brushing right 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 i got your point i got your point because they then vipassana but they become the conscious about their breathing Yes. Throughout the throughout the day. Yes, yes, yes. So and for nine days. Yes. Nine they, to they ten days, they keep you in that uh, state right. of mind. Right, right. Like the similar But, thing can be done, ma'am. Uh, like the in with the daily life also. No, no. In the in the other people, man, the other other method of this focusing or dhyan. Sometimes the people chanting some name or something throughout the day. Sir, when I talk about professionals who have just started their career. with the um, they just just started they are young they, they feel for every and any other thing they have to do they don't have time they have lot of excuses right their energies are not focused or aligned to this part that's where i'm saying please start this is called so we called it working meditation right 
it's a working meditation which i am talking about where you just focus on what you are doing mm -hmm. anything that you are doing so so if you are sipping a glass of water you should know how many sips i have taken this is i am addressing to everyone so if you are wearing the shirt uh, this button shirt you should know ki which hand i have taken first in the shirt which hand i have taken second so if you are combing your hairs you should know ki how many times i have taken the brush that comb into my hairs so if we are wearing the specs how many times i have taken it out and wore it back everything consciousness see yes. animal god has gifted high amount of co consciousness to animals so sir ek machhar bhi hai na humse zyada better conscious hota hai ki hum usko haath pe marne ki koshish karte hain aur wo ud jata hai a dog any animal stick squirrels any any animal they they want to save their lives so their uh, amount of alertness gilhari jise hum kehte they are very fast dogs they always are alert on roads when they are crossing or any animal but human mind is the god the way god has designed the human mind it's a wandering machine it wanders onto so many different subjects that they are not able to uh, that they are not able to bring a focus and attention onto one thing that's what i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about if we are the god has given this wandering machine so beautiful to sense danger but the wandering of the mind has become a part of our life it is so actively working it is so actively wandering with the thoughts that we are not able to control it we are not able to bring it on focus when we need it mind ko hum har time pakad ke nahi rakh sakte hain lekin ye ek aisa ये एक ऐसी छोटी चिड़िया है जो एक पेड़ के पेड़ पे बहुत सारी डालियां होती है तो डालियों पे एक डाली से दूसरी डाली दूसरी डाली से तीसरी डाली पे फुदकती रहती है जो हमारे यहाँ घरेलू आसपास चिड़ियाए होती है माइंड भी एक वैसी ही मशीन है जो वन थॉट टू अनदर थॉट टू थर्ड थॉट टू फोर्थ थॉट कीप ऑन वॉन्ड्रिंग बट वेन वी नीड इट वेन वी आर डूइंग बिजनेस वेन वी मेक सेंस when we are more required to be more alert present in what is happening we really have to be good listeners when we are collecting data when we are delivering something we need the best of our focus there that chidiya that mind should not hop from one branch to another branch it has to be at one place so uh, let let me tell you we have all have started in school do you remember what was the history chapter in 10th class second chapter of history anybody sir i am open to everyone in the ma'am i am open to everyone in the program sorry ma'am can't remember no we don't remember but if the same chapter was been taught by mr amitabh bachchan do you think there are likely chances that we remember that what was the second chapter which amitabh bachchan came to your class and taught you chances are there chances are there na chances are likely high that uh, agar wahi chapter amitabh bachchan ji padha ke jate to hame yaad rehta why because the excitement the presence and the alertness you must have had there that he is there to teach you as well as you are mentally alert that he is with you and he, what he is teaching both the things become a combination your alertness gives you lot of memories your learning has always happened when you were mentally highly alert tab aapko chapter ki ek ek cheeze yaad rehti tab aapko apna classroom bhi yaad rehta just because he was there with you 
आपको स्कूल में हम फर्स्ट क्लास से लेकर ट्वेल्थ तक क्लास तक बहुत चीजें पढ़ी होंगी बट हमें कुछ ही चीजें याद होगी शायद हमारी स्कूल की चीजें हमें पांच से दस परसेंट ही याद होंगी नब्बे परसेंट वैनिश है आज के टाइम में माइंड से पर वो चीजें इसलिए याद हैं जो पांच से दस परसेंट याद हैं वो इसलिए याद है वो इंसिडेंट्स वो टीचर्स बिकॉज जब वो एक्ट हो रहा था तब हम हंड्रेड परसेंट मेंटली वहां प्रेजेंट थे आपको जिस दिन स्कूल में अप्रिशिएट किया गया आपके लिए तालियां बजाई गई यू मस्ट बी रिमेम्बरिंग दैट डे एज वेल एज जिस दिन किसी टीचर का गलती से थप्पड़ पड़ा वो भी याद है बिकॉज दैट टाइम यू वर मेंटली अलर्ट वॉट हैपन्ड टू यू सो अलर्टनेस एंड अटेंशन इज द की टू लर्निंग टू लर्निंग न्यू थिंग्स आप सबको एक और क्वेश्चन पूछती हूं मैं यू रिमेंबर हाउ यू वेन यू लर्न फर्स्ट एनी टू टू व्हील मोटर व्हीकल एनी स्कूटर मोटरसाइकिल Which you learned? Anybody remembers? Sundar sir. Yeah, there's a Vespa, Vespa scooter. Vespa scooter. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Which was that year? It was the year ninety seventy one, seventy two, seventy one. Seventy one. So precisely when you remember that it was seventy one, you remember who taught you that Vespa scooter? Yeah, actually, my brother-in-law he just told me how to operate it. Ha. So first, 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 I, 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 I was since I knowing the yeah cycle very well. So I sat, uh, and that time I got married, and uh, my wife was sitting behind. I started. Uh, I went myself. Nobody taught me. <laughs> Only they taught me what is the brake, what is this uh, gear. How to change it and all those things, very simple thing. Since But, I am an engineer, I was conscious what when he was teaching me, I was very alert. You were very alert. Now, this alertness of first driving the scooter, you still remember. You still remember your brother-in-law taught you. Your wife was with you. She was sitting behind you. And what must have been the speed, sir? The speed was very low because. Uh, i was not that confident so i drive very very slowly hmm. taking lot of care here there and front end you must be remembering that road also yeah i remember you the road be, also you must be remembering it was morning afternoon evening you must be remembering every scene of it why because you were learning something new and you were highly alert उसके बाद आपने जिंदगी में सर अगर आप 72 में सीखा तो पिछले 30 साल से स्कूटर चला रहे होंगे मोर देन थर्टी सर मस्ट बी फिफ्टी इयर्स से आप स्कूटर चला रहे हो उसके बाद से uh, लेकिन अब उसके बाद जो 50 इयर्स में इतनी बार चीजें हो गई वो कभी याद नहीं होगी इतनी क्लियरली सर लेकिन जब भी हम कुछ चीज सीखते हैं सर हम तब हाईली अलर्ट होते हैं इसलिए वो चीजें मोमेंट टू मोमेंट हमारे माइंड में रजिस्टर हो जाती है that's what i want to say to everyone thank you thank you dr ulsha makes sense sir i think so when we are talking about focus i hope rebha can you see my presentation uh, no ma'am no ma'am it's not visible it's not visible yes ma'am Okay. Okay. I mean, next thing, which when we talk about. Um, uh, second component of mindfulness is that most of the time when we want to be mindful the first thing is we have to observe everything that what is happening around us we have to be really an observer the moment we get sucked into the act we lose the awareness so i'll give you one example to understand what i'm saying 
हमें है ना हमारे घर में कितनी प्रॉब्लम्स है वो नहीं पता होती बट हमें ये पता होता है कि पड़ोसी के घर में कितनी प्रॉब्लम्स है हु इज राइट हु इज रॉन्ग देयर वी आर दी ऑब्जर्वर वी बिकम दी ऑब्जर्वर टू आर नेबर्स ना इन द सेम वे इफ वी बिकम माइंडफुल द फर्स्ट चेंज यू विल फाइंड इट आउट इज लाइक यू बिकम दी ऑब्जर्वर ऑफ योर थॉट्स यू बिकम मोर अलर्ट वॉट इज हैपनिंग to you what are the thoughts which are coming to your mind so first advantage of mindfulness is that you <coughs> you remain present in present you become more present in present you are basically <coughs> abhi kya hota hai jo bahut si cheeze hum kar rahe hote hain bahut si cheeze hum kar rahe hote hain jaise hum agar koi mathematical calculation kar rahe hain koi hum hisab kitab kar rahe hain to hamara mind present mein hoga but most of the time जो बहुत सी दूसरी एक्टिविटीज है जैसे मैंने बताया खाना पीना खाना खाते वक्त वी आर नॉट अलर्ट कि हमने कितनी बार बाइट्स को छू किया या और दूसरे काम करते वक्त आवर माइंड इज आइर इन टू पास्ट और आवर माइंड इज इन टू फ्यूचर वी आर नॉट इन प्रेजेंट वी आर नॉट इन नाउ सो द मोर वी डू माइंडफुल प्रैक्टिस द मोर वी विल बिकम अलर्ट टू बी इन नाउ दिस मोमेंट now why it is important because what happens is why it is very important to be in now now actually remaining in now helps us ki jo past mein jitni mind has a fallacy ki past mein jitna bhi negative hua hota hai na वो हमारे माइंड में बार बार रिमिनेट होता है वॉट बैड हैपन्ड विथ अस इन द पास्ट वो हमारे को परेशान करता है और अगर फिर हम अनकॉन्शियसली सोचने बैठ जाते हैं तो जो हमारे फ्यूचर में जो हमारी प्रॉब्लम्स हम एंटिसिपेट कर पाते हैं जो हर्डल्स और रिस्क एंटिसिपेट कर पाते हैं फ्यूचर के हम उनके बारे में सोचते रहते हैं सो so, दोनों ही जो स्थितियाँ हैं दोनों सिचुएशन थिंकिंग अबाउट द पास्ट which brings negativity thinking about the future which brings anxiety both the situations are dangerous and actually slows down the mind because when we are thinking about the past or about the future we are generating elect uh, generating electrochemical signals which have been which passes through our body and when it passes through the body our body actually doesn't produce good amount of toxins in fact lot of bad toxins are produced no good chemicals sorry body is not able to produce produce good chemicals and in despite of that body starts producing bad toxins those who are blood pressure patients can easily resonate with me that blood pressure is a long term lifestyle disease which has been created which which happens due to lot of anxieties and mental pressure which we take so to remain in now actually helps us to do lot of relaxation also it helps the mind to be relaxed it helps the mind to be more efficient to be in now because thoughts which are powerful tool also can can even be more negative with the past and the future also negativity generate hoti hai to jitna hum current moment se disconnected hain hum apne liye problems create kar rahe hain if you have to think something for future that is called planning which has to be done sitting with pen and paper right on the desk 
you cannot generate it you cannot do any work for future without planning but again and again rewinding those thoughts it's like churning mixi hum ek hi thought ko dimag mein bar 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 chala chala ke jo apne mind pe mental pressure and anxiety create karte hain usko band karna bahut zyada zaruri hai uske liye future ke bare mein sochna hai to hamesha पेन एंड पेपर के साथ बैठ के प्लानिंग करनी चाहिए और अपनी चीजों को फिक्स करना चाहिए और डू नॉट अलाउ योर माइंड टू गो अगेन एंड अगेन ऑन दो थॉट विच यू आर अलाउंग इट टू गो द मोर यू आर नॉट प्रेजेंट विद थॉट यू आर एक्चुअली जो भगवान ने इतना ब्यूटिफुल सीपीयू आपको दिया है सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट विच इज कॉल्ड इज माइंड ऑफ द ब्रेन it is actually not allowing it is not functionally functional function uski functionality ko humne kam kar diya hai being into past or being into future thought process thoughts is something thoughts kaise kaam karte hain thoughts uh iske liye let's do one exercise main aapse sabse request karungi ki aap ek uh, moment ko dhyan kijiye jo last week मंथ में आपके साथ हुआ है विच मस्ट हैव बीन अ वेरी हैप्पी मोमेंट फॉर यू जिसको आपने बहुत एंजॉय किया कैन यू ऑल रिमेंबर सम सम थॉट सम इंसिडेंट जो आपके साथ हुआ कोई एक इंसिडेंट जो बहुत अच्छा हुआ आपके साथ आप सबने एंजॉय किया उसको एवरीवन can you remember one sh- th- sh- thought or one incident sorry kya aap wo ek incident yaad kar sakte hain jo aapke sath bahut acha hua ho Should I go ahead? Have you thought that incident? Yeah. Should I go okay. ahead, Dr. Yes. Manisha? Yes, sir. So uh, now, when you are thinking about that incident which you actually enjoyed, or when you were happy with that, where was your attention during thinking? Now, my question to everyone: Ab jab ab jab us इन इवेंट इंसिडेंट के बारे में सोच रहे थे वेयर वॉज योर अटेंशन यू वेंट बैक इन दैट इंसिडेंट यू वेंट बैक इन द पास्ट इज इट ट्रू और नॉट वर यू यू लिविंग इन दैट मूवमेंट यू स्टार्टेड लिविंग दैट पास्ट मूवमेंट आई वेंट बैक टू माई मेमोरीज एंड ट्राई टू कलेक्ट what is the event like in the month of january there were three important event which made an impact on my thinking my happiness hmm. and then i selected one which i wanted to share hmm. so i re- mis rewinded my uh, memory you you rewinded your memory sir so that's correct so this is how the abhi currently i am asking you to go back into that event and re- remind yourself okay so when you started reminding that th- moment which happened in january month you were not present in present do you agree with this or not yes so who was controlling your thoughts i was i was controlling the thoughts sir hello sir so who was controlling your thoughts when i said go in the past moment bring some memories uh, who was controlling you i was controlling yeah. you 
doctor yeah you are controlled yeah. now what happens currently your mind controls you in lot of events what what is happening to you so say your mind says let's think about the past what happened by default mind past mein jata hai sir aur past mein bhi unhi thoughts pe jata hai jo hamare sath galat hue ho jinhone jin incidents ne hamara emotional trigger generate kar diya ho jahan hamari koi insult hui ho ya hamare kisi ne emotions ko chhed diya ho jahan hame hamari ego ko i must say hamare ego ko puncture kar diya ho वहां पर हमारा माइंड बार बार ट्रिगर करने जाता है जाता है वी रीविजिट दोज दोज इंसिडेंट्स एंड वी वी कीप ऑन थिंकिंग व्हाट कुड हैव बीन बेटर और हाउ आई कैन टेक द रिवेंज फ्रॉम दैट पर्सन माइंड कीप्स ऑन हॉन्टिंग यू फॉर ऑल बैड थिंग्स दैट हैपेंड इन फ्यू पास्ट डेज टिल इट डजंट फॉरगेट्स इट इट कीप्स ऑन रिवाइंडिंग योर माइंड टू दैट और बट purposely when i'm asking you to take it on some oh. beautiful moments then only you are able to go to those beautiful moments otherwise you always the default mindset takes you to the bad moments sir. that's what i'm trying to explain i want everyone to do one more exercise with me i'm asking you to close your eyes everyone all my participants please please close your eyes and think please think everything but don't think about monkey kuch bhi sochiyega lekin bandar ke bare mein mat sochiyega sir please now you all can open your eyes how much you think you were able to defocus yourself from monkey or actually the focus was totally on monkey so there sir yeah almost 80% i was thinking of uh, other thing uh, rather than monkey but monkey came on jumping in my thought <laughs> monkey so sir mind hai na mind jis tarah designed kiya hai the beauty of the mind is कि जितना हम अपने माइंड को किसी चीज के बारे में नहीं सोचने पे मजबूर करेंगे उतना ही ज्यादा हम उसके बारे में सोचेंगे माइंड हमें बार बार उसी थॉट प्रोसेस पे बार बार लेके जाता है कि लेट्स थिंक अबाउट जो चीज अगर हम अपने बच्चे को कहेंगे कि सिगरेट मत पीना तो वो उतना ही ज्यादा उस सिगरेट थॉट में रहेगा कि मुझे सिगरेट पीनी ही है वो उतना ही ज्यादा माइंड को जिस चीज के लिए मना किया जाता है माइंड उसको उतना ही ज्यादा करता है दैट्स व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू वन थिंग जितना किसी चीज को मना करेंगे उतना ही ज्यादा वो चीज करेगा नाउ अगेन आई वांट ऑल ऑफ यू टू डू वन एक्सरसाइज विद मी प्लीज क्लोज योर आईज एंड डू नॉट थिंक एनीथिंग प्लीज स्टॉप थिंकिंग एनीथिंग फॉर नेक्स्ट थर्टी सेकेंड प्लीज I request everyone to please close your eyes and do not think anything. कुछ मत सोचिएगा इन तीस सेकेंड्स में. please i request everyone to open your eyes do you think ki aapko koi bhi thought occur nahi hua aap log constantly bina thought ke the dilip sir whenever i request please can you open everyone my yes, audience ma is already is non interrupting so let's open and have an open discussion from everyone so i'm i'm asking to everyone please answer me do you think for these 38 seconds when we were uh, trying to focus not to think anything 
were we able to think uh, were we able to make our mind out of thought um uh, ma'am it's very difficult the lips are... yes ma'am uh, basically am i audible yeah yeah you are completely audible okay uh, yes yes yeah, sir you were uh, you are audible basically it's very difficult to make a mind still ye bahut mushkil ka kaam mushkil kaam hai sabse difficult kaam hai lekin yes sir actually ha so let accept this fact uh, no we cannot make our mind without thought please yes, that's exactly. that's more important to learn se log kehte hain meditation mein baith jaiye dimag ko dimag pe koi thought mat aane dijiye aisa possible nahi hai mind yeah, is a machine of generating thoughts yes. but when according when you to become, america yes, yes you huh. you have to detach yourself from the thought you have to become the observant of your thought yes yes that, that's that what i'm trying to that is a trick huh. that's when a become, trick yeah when you become the observant of your thought this thought is coming you might have carried away with the for the few second with that thought but then let it go away and then again focus on your mind yes yes the beauty of this is ki we should not actually allow our mind our mind can never go without thoughts but the more important is when mind has so immense capacity of thinking let's not waste this thinking into past remnants or, or future anxieties let's keep it present in present the more we are alert with the present the better we are able to use this this uh, brain or mind which god has given us this machine in the most beautiful manner isse jo hamara present ka kaam hai wo bilkul sahi hoga hum body mein aise koi electrochemical signals nahi produce karenge jo hamare thoughts aur thoughts ke baad jo emotions bante hain uski wajah se hamare ko jo problems hoti hain body mein wo aise koi bhi problem nahi hogi plus hamara kaam sahi hoga कोई भी चीज जो हम बहुत अटेंशन अलर्टनेस और फोकस के साथ करेंगे वो हमेशा सही होगी तो इफ वी वांट टू इंप्रूव द क्वालिटी ऑफ आवर लाइफ एज अ बेटर प्रोफेशनल एज अ बेटर पर्सन फर्स्ट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट माइंडफुलनेस इज द की टू इंप्रूव आवर सेल्फ फ्रॉम टेक इट फ्रॉम दिस एक्स लेवल वेयर वी आर to x plus 2 and x plus 3 level sir sundar sir do you have any question yeah actually when i close my eyes and uh, i was not allowing any thought to come so your message was clicking in my mind but simultaneously i i experienced a very marvelous thing that in my front there was a lot of light illuminated in front of me i don't oh, know why i could see that one so sir you must be meditating or practicing some kind of things or you must be doing some yoga some breathing exercise because of which you have advanced into this area yeah yeah i do 40 minutes yoga and almost yes. 30 minutes uh, my ah. exercise regularly ah. Without I, I am addressing all the beginners, <laughs> those who are not on these lines. I am just trying to address them and trying to bring their to. I am help trying to help people. कि हम बचपन से एक चीज सुनते हैं ध्यान से करो ये काम गलत कर दिया है ध्यान से करो ध्यान से पढ़ाई करो. So where is that ध्यान? What is the practical mechanism to bring this ध्यान into life? From where we can bring concentration? i am just trying to address all my uh, all my audience on this part okay um can we can we do one small um exercise to learn more about more about mindfulness uh, i'll tell you lot of lot of children do a lot of mind practices uh, these days If you, uh, game, बहुत सारी चीजें बच्चे गेम्स खेलते हैं अगर आपको पता हो तो बच्चे बोलेंगे
ping pong sang, ping pong sang, and they usually forget what they are, they were they are supposed to say. So, lot of uh, practices uh, like walking on a very very narrow lane on some kind of strips. Maybe it's just ten inches wide, and you have to walk on that. There are high amount of alertness practices. We have seen uh, earlier there used to be roadside shows, जहाँ पे एक रस्सी पे आदमी या कोई लड़की चल रही है with a stick on the hand. So these are all alertness practices which we see uh, around us people doing in different ways. And this is how we bring alertness. There are other life practices also which actually every religion teaches to be more alert and be more mindful. हमारे यहाँ ना माला फेरने की प्रथा है हिंदू हिंदू धर्म में माला फेरते हैं जहाँ पे हम एक ही मंत्र का बार बार चेंट करते हैं तो चेंटिंग की वक्त जब माला फेर रहे हैं तो उसका कम्प्लीटली पर्पज ये था टू बी माइंडफुल टू रिमेन विद दैट मंत्र विच यू आर कॉन्स्टेंटली रिपीटिंग सो आई वॉन्ट टू डू वन प्रैक्टिकल एक्सरसाइज to whatever religion you belong i request you to take three four words in form of mantra which is given by your religion can we do it sir everyone vaibhav can you open unmute everyone vaibhav are you with me hello Webhav, are you with me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Webhav, can you unmute everyone? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm requesting everyone to please take one mantra from your religion, whatsoever is being given, because हमारे religion में बहुत सारी mindful practices to improve the mind बनी हुई है. जैसे हिंदुइज्म में एक हनुमान चालीसा है लॉट ऑफ पीपल रिसाइड दिस हनुमान चालीसा ऑन डेली बेसिस बट दीज ऑल थिंग्स विच वर श्लोक स्त्रोत्र पाठ जो बनाए गए थे वो इसलिए बनाए गए थे ताकि आप माइंडफुली उन्हें रीड कर सके बट वंस यू यू क्रैम देम यू लर्न देम इट्स नो मोर माइंडफुलनेस नो मोर मेडिटेशन बिकॉज एक तरफ हम हनुमान चालीसा बोलते हैं और दूसरी तरफ पैरल ट्रैक पे ना लोगों के दिमाग में कुछ और चलता रहता है दे आर बीन क्रैम्ड बाय यू दे कम एज अ ऑटो मोड फ्रॉम यू यू आर नॉट अलर्ट विद देम दैट व्हाट आई एम स्पीकिंग और डूइंग इसी तरह से हमारे बहुत सारे रिलीजन में मंत्र दिए गए मतलब शॉर्ट थ्री फोर वर्ड्स का कोई रिसाइट लीजिए आप लोग कोई मंत्र जो आप रेगुलरली चैंट करते हो जो प्रैक्टिस करते हो प्लीज टेक दैट मंत्र इन योर लाइफ जैसे मैं हैव यू अनम्यूटेड एवरीवन यस यस थैंक यू कोई एक मंत्र लीजिए जो आप लोग रिसाइट करते हो फ्रॉम एनी रिलीजन ऑल ऑफ यू आर बिलोंगिंग टेक वन मंत्र सो Currently, what we do is, I'll just practice. Uh, I'll just speak in front of you the way we do it. We we close our eyes and we keep on speaking. Say, for example, I'm a Hindu, and uh, if I believe in Shiva, I say Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. Now I'm again and again speaking Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, because वो मुझे रटा हुआ है. It's crammed inside my mind. So I don't. My mind doesn't need to do an effort to remember it. now and there is no concentration involved in it parallelly when i am speaking om namah shivaya om namah shivaya om namah shivaya my mind has the capacity to think parallelly on some thought again okay agar main ye mandir mein jap kar rahi hu baith ke om namah shivaya om namah shivaya om namah shivaya shayad parallelly mujhe lag raha hoga mujhe ghar jana hai mujhe ghar pe jaake kya kaam karna hai so lot of ways i can distract my mind with reciting this mantra now how to bring focus with this mantra again because the purpose was not to make a double track in your mind 
but the purpose of all these mantra was to bring your focus more alert you, you need to be more alert now how can you do that now do with me i request everyone to do this practice with me <clears throat> sit up अभी हम टीवी देखते हैं तो टीवी में आप देखिए कई बार ना नीचे स्लाइड्स चलती हैं स्पेशली दीज जो न्यूज चैनल्स हैं हमारे उनके नीचे एक पट्टी चलती है अगर स्क्रोलिंग होती रहती है एक स्ट्रिप तो स्ट्रिप पे ना कुछ लिखा हुआ भी होता है तो अगर मान लीजिए आपके माइंड में एक ब्लैक कलर की स्ट्रिप है और उसके ऊपर व्हाइट से कुछ लिखा हुआ है नाउ यू इमेजिन इट के ब्लैक कलर की स्ट्रिप है जिस पे व्हाइट कलर से वो मंत्र लिखा हुआ है तो जैसे मेरा मंत्र है ओम नमः शिवाय ओके तो आप उसको अब ना रिसा जो माइंड में रिहर्स है उसे नहीं बोलना है अभी ना उस स्ट्रिप के ऊपर से पढ़ना है ओम नमः शिवाय डोंट क्रैम व्हाट यू नो now read it see each and every word every time you on from that black strip written in white strip white words om namah shivaya abhi usko sirf padhiye wahan se now your alertness is 100% there because you are reading something from that strip try this by yourself See, I cannot see you practicing this. Just do it, and keep on doing it. And now you will find your mind will find it difficult also. Yes, basically, this is called the visualization. You visualize the what you are reciting. Visualization and uh, uh, sir, I'm trying to say you mm -hmm. do this recitation while reading. Don't don't say what is crammed in your mind. The mind cannot do. When you are reading from there, no, that strip, your mind cannot do anything else. It right. has to read and speak. It has yeah. to read and speak. It won't be able to do second thought, second thing. Mindfulness is always uh, saying, "Don't allow your mind to parallelly work on something. Stop your mind. Mind is not designed to do multitasking." right mind can do one task at a time one thing at one time you can do people understand the word multitasking in a wrong way where they think ki ek hi saath bahut sare kaam karne chahiye tv bhi dekhna chahiye aur khana bhi khana chahiye gana bhi sunna chahiye aur kaam bhi karna chahiye actually you are actually not allowing your mind to work on full strength when you are doing two things at a time according to some research which was done in 1991 uh some research where the focus of the mind the attention span of the mind was sir 11.91 seconds 11 seconds 11.9 seconds tak mind ka attention span bahut high tha in 1991 ek average study was done with, with few thousand people now when it is done again in 2016 now human beings have lost the attention span attention span has gone reduced to 7.98 seconds now why because social media what we visit social media the practice of using social media swiping those reels and lot of facebook things have made your mind to lose alertness your mind flickers very fast and the more it flickers it cannot remain on one subject or thought bad quality i must say we are we lose attention very fast we are not able to keep our mind on one place one situation and one thought for longer durations so with these kind of practices like a uh, recitation of any religion mantra any word where you are reading it not repeating as it is crammed in your mind will help you to bring better quality of the mind am i making sense with this or not uh, i really want to hear everyone uh, web up can you open yes sir yes sir. any questions any doubt for what we are i'm trying to make you understand hello jay aniket 
Mr. Ajay Bandari. I'm addressing to everyone. Akash, Preet, Shraddha, Raj. Mr. Ramesh, any questions, any doubt? Actually, there is one famous book that is Nihali, I think its name is M-I-H-A-L-Y. Nihali on the flow. Flow, no, yes, sir. I love the book, it's a flow. I think long back I've read that. Book. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah, huh. Nihali has talked oh. about the flow, yes. Yes. His surname is quite difficult. Chok, uh, it's a Russian. He's a Russian writer. Yes. 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 Uh, yes. That is one of the one of the finest um, work they have done on the mind psychology. Yes. So all, all the viewers, even I request them if they can get the essence of this book, please go through. Yes. Recently, uh, there is a very popular uh, book called. Uh, hello, am I audible? Yes, yes, yes. Tik Nahat Hunt. He is a Buddhist monk. Tik Nahat Hunt. He has just recently died in 2022. He was practicing um, this uh, mindfulness practices in Buddhist mon monasteries. Tik Nahat Hunt. He has done a lot of work on mindfulness and he has made a plum village completely dedicated to these kind of practices. What is the title he's of the a, book? Sir, he's a writer. He has written a lot of books. Tik Nahat Hunt. Okay. The Power of Now. It's a, it, uh, there's, there's a very strong book on this. Uh, the Power of Now. But I must say, it's an Indian Indian science, Indian ancient science, where our Rishi Munis were doing a lot of this kind of practices, and they were uh, actually starting <coughs> giving this um, <coughs> thought. But not, uh, these practices are more populated in Buddhism as well as Jainism, and uh, people are uh, people have dedicated their life towards this thought process. It, it, it shows that uh, with these kind of mindful practices, your prefrontal lobe, this prefrontal cortex becomes more um, active. And this gray matter, matter density also increases. <clears throat> now I would like you, uh, now I would like to bring you to the most eligible practices which we can do on day in day out basis uh, with this mindful practice the first thing is <clears throat> we should start some morning we should pick up something in our daily life i must say four to five activities which we are doing on daily basis we should pick up those things see Talking lot good about mindfulness, not bring us mindfulness. We have to really pick up some actionable practices to life, which can increase, uh, which can help us to improve the quality of our mind. So first thing, I would request you to pick up some practices. So say, for example, I, as I said, once you get up from the bed, and if you have a strong thought rush, where you are not able, not, and with that thought rush, if you take 15 minutes in the bed and you are not able to come out and when you come out, you feel exhausted because in those powerful 15 minutes, mind has gone in the mind. The speed of the thought process was very high in the morning. When we get up, the th thought process is really very high. So you have to control it right from the morning. Those thoughts, you can't control it. I must say you need to regulate your mind to some different thoughts. Now, the most simple way is, I'm not taking into any uh, religion, spiritualism or chanting. The most important way is, <clears throat> what you can do is, start reverse counting. Now, usually we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
the moment we say countings like this it is already crammed in our mind and we can put our mind into parallel thought now pick up like this 199 98 97 the moment you start reverse counting you cannot engage your brain into some other activity your mind has to actually speak your mind has to be with those numbers otherwise you will forget numbers you can't do it you can't fool your mind so please pick up this practice if you have really morning thought traffic Hundred ninety nine, ninety eight, ninety seven, ninety six, ninety five. Do it. Once you forget it, some thought clicked it. Start from hundred again. Bring your mind into that practice. And slowly, you speak it one one time. Make it a habit of doing it two times, three times. At least three times. Once you get up from your bed, hundred to one, hundred to one, and hundred to one. start this practice this is very beautiful way starting your morning right you open your eyes and you have a thought rush so take a control by just putting your mind on 100 to 1 practice first thing then leave it go to the washroom the moment you start brushing i'm asking you to take your mind to count the brushes brush how many times you have taken it right how many times that you have taken it to left how many time in front <clears throat> don't allow your mind to think something else after doing brushing if you take some tea coffee anything please take a check how many times you have sipped that tea or coffee then you take breakfast just for starting figure i'm telling you just count first five bites that how many times you chewed it and then leave your brain take your nashta the way you do it but first five bites only five bites first five bites count them how many times i've chewed it mind will say are wo bakwas webinar thi wo bula liya kisi ne us lady ko it was all stupid cram believe me mind will give you 100 reasons not to do these practices because mind has its own you have given from so many years you have given so much freedom to the mind that mind doesn't want to be abhi kya hota hai mind aapko chalata hai abhi main jo cheeze bol rahi hu usme aap mind ko chalayenge aap use kahenge ki nahi bhaiya main count karunga wo kahega छोड़ना ये काउंटिंग मेरे को मैं अपन वो थॉट सोचते थे कल वो हुआ था अपने साथ लेट्स थिंक अबाउट इट और लेट्स थिंक अबाउट द इवनिंग पार्टी लेट्स लेट्स क्रिएट सम एक्साइटमेंट यू से नो शट अप आई एम द बॉस यू आर नॉट द बॉस दैट यू हैव टू अगेन एंड अगेन टेल इट टू योर माइंड यू हैव टू से इट शट अप आई विल काउंट वंस यू टेक द ब्रेकफास्ट लीव योर माइंड लीव इट go back to your daily chores because you cannot do these practices all the time but if you are taking stairs anywhere you are going count those stairs how many stairs you have taken up how many stairs you have taken down in in any day time when you take stairs because bahut se log aise honge jinhe apni ghar ki stairs bhi nahi pata honge ki hamare ghar ki number of stairs kitni hai the more i am asking you to be on numbers actually i'm trying to help you to make this prefrontal cortex active currently this emotional mind which is about to your uh, ear this is more active i'm asking you to make this active because this is the new, newest brain a human has animals don't have this planning analytical brain which humans are been given that's why the humans are called super species among all the living organisms in this on this planet because of this brain let's help this brain to grow better let keep our emotional limbic function brain which animals also have this limbic function brain has emotions feelings it knows when to eat what to eat when to sleep have sex follow the religion only four things which is which this mind is perfect but let's focus on more intelligent part of the brain 
that is the prefrontal cortex any questions any doubt about this okay so once i'm saying after brushing after eating after having the breakfast remember how many stairs you have taken bring some things to your part of your life when some chores some chores which can help you to be present in present because 95% of the mind works on the subconscious mind the more things which are recorded already in our brain system i don't say that whatever we are doing is not good whatever thing is being said whatever things you are doing maybe they are good at the part if they are good for your life taking medicine at the right time remembering it on the time is a good practice you don't need to change it you, you are already that is uh, that is automated in your mind but to bring mind to new things it's really important to practice certain new things and be mindful about it try to write your name with the left hand currently if your working hand is right hand you write it in a most automated manner but when you have to write it with the left hand now this is the time when you are 100% writing your name so this is uh, this is all what i want to share about mindfulness bring some practices to your life that will actually help you to improve from the current situation because human mind has a trap of getting into the habits which you have developed the more alert you are the more better you are making your operating system to have new applications of the life to run very smoothly that's all from my side i always request all of you to read more about mindfulness on internet and be becoming a knowledge knowledge accumulator will not help you please start doing some practices it will really bring the next version from yours um that's all uh, weber from my side any questions any doubt we can have uh, yes ma'am Yes. So I request all the participants and delegates. If you have any questions, you can unmute yourself and and ask directly to the ma'am, or you can put in the chat box. Question to nahi hai such, but uh, basically you have given a very practical tips to youngsters. Not only youngsters, but for all, like me also. Something something new for me when I learned a lot of new things here. Yes. Uh, but more or less early you start that is the better yes sir because because when age catches na so then your mind become more rigid to your old habits and all that Let, let's be malleable with the mind let's not bring more concreteness to the mind yeah yeah agree 100% agree very nice session ma'am you have given the very useful tips i hope the young generation will apply and adopt those things <laughs> yes, 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 Dr. Katari, would you like to add something? Yeah, uh, Dr. Manisha. Yes, sir. It was an excellent presentation and uh, keeping everybody engaged. Uh, only my question is, uh, today's younger generation, uh, I don't know why they don't want to, uh, means get engaged themselves for such type of program to learn. and to excel and to have a peace of mind because i find all these things uh, really brings a true happiness in you yes yes sir yeah, yes. so and you are allowed you don't go into sad mode very mm -hmm. right sir you don't yeah. allow emotions to capture you yes i missed that point alertness mindfulness doesn't allow you to get into any trap of emotions good or bad that's good like this we have morning talk every day where uh, we spend about 15 to 20 minutes with power exercise and 
thought of the day. But people don't want to share their experience uh, because they should share their experience so that uh, people can help them to come out of any problems or any emotions or any anything is there. Uh, finally, I would say salute to you. Thanks. Thank very you, nice sir. presentation. Really, I enjoy it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Good day. Thank you, Mr. Dilip. Thank you. Thank you to all the participants for have, having so patient listening with me. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For Thank you, Rebecca. Yes. ICS is pleased to provide you all its research and development, integrated management system, QMS, EMS, and OHSS. Excellence in education management, ISO made easy in Gujarati, Marathi, Telugu, and Hindi. For reading any of the above books, please contact Ms. Shishma Kindalkar on the given contact details. Feedback form, please register on www.sadgunsan.org and go in your login and give your valued feedback to us. So thank you, Manisha, ma'am. Thank you, all the participants and delegates. So now it's time to officially close the session. Thank you, everyone.